grading several in this video we'll be looking at NCA level 3 probability distributions achievement standard at an excellence level and in this video I'll be focusing on finding the standard deviation and the mean value of a problem given in context uh, using a graphics calculator so we'll quickly have a look at the example uh, it says the speeds of cars uh, passing a certain point on an Oakland motorway are normally distributed observations show that of cars passing the point 6.2 percent are traveling at less than 80 kilometers per hour and 15 percent are traveling over 95 kilometers per hour and uh, the question says calculate the average speed which is the mean value and the standard deviation of cars passing the point so again we'll start by drawing a diagram we'll label it and shade the uh, uh, area that's required so in this case we do not know the mean value and we also don't know the uh, standard deviation value so those two are unknown but in this case we are given uh, the first piece of information which says that 15% um, of the cars are traveling over 95 kilometers per hour so 95 and then it's shaded uh, on the right hand side and then we've got 6.2% um, of the cars are traveling below 80k so that shaded area is uh, below 80 and that's 0 0.062 which is the area and then we'll use a graphics calculator so we'll need to go to um, inverse normal and change the uh, tail settings to left so if it's um, settings to the left then we can see that we'll be using the area value of 0 0.062 so we can uh, use area of 0 0.062 in this case we are not given the mean value and the standard deviation so if you're not given mean value and standard deviation either or both are unknown and then we'll use uh, standard normal to uh, find the corresponding z value so where mean is zero and sd is one so we'll uh, use the standard deviation of one and mean value of zero to find the corresponding z value to find the z value we'll use the graphics calculator so go to the stats menu and then distributions normal inverse normal and in this case we already know that the area is uh, change the tail settings to the left and then the area is 0 0.062 and uh, the standard deviation and mean are unknown so in this case we'll use the default values uh, standard deviation of one and mean value of zero and this will give you the corresponding z value so in this case uh, the z value is negative 1.538 so in this case the z value comes to negative uh, 1.538 why it's negative because it's below zero if mean is zero then on the left hand side all the numbers will be negative so it's um, negative 1.538 and we'll repeat the process um, and use area of 0 0.15 which is above 95 kilometers per hour so using the graphics calculator we'll go to inverse normal but this time the tail setting is right because the shaded area of 0 0.15 is to the right of 95 kilometers per hour and then the area is 0 0.15 standard deviations again one mean value is zero now to find the second z value you will need to change the tail settings to the right because in this case it's shaded on the right hand side of uh, 95 kilometers per hour and then uh, you change the area value of 0 0.15 because that's 15% uh, over 95 case and then uh, we do not know the standard deviation and the mean value so we'll use the default values of uh, mean value of zero and standard deviation of one and this gives us the second z value which is 1.036 that gives you the second z value which is 1.036 now once i've got these two uh, z values then we'll use the um, z formula and rearrange and z is given by x minus mean over standard deviation and uh, the first z value was negative 1.538 which is equal to x value the actual speed was 80 so 80 minus mean the actual mean is unknown and also the actual standard deviations unknowns and then we'll quickly rearrange we'll move um, 
the uh, standard deviation is divided by standard deviation so i will multiply on the other side so negative 1.538 times the standard deviation is equal to 80 minus mean and this minus mean i'll move it on the other side it will give you plus mean so negative 1.5 Three, eight times the standard deviation plus the mean will give you uh, um, 80 now I have to rearrange in uh, this form so that I can then uh, later use the graphics calculator to uh, solve for the unknowns so this is our first equation and then we'll repeat the process to um, use the second z value so z is equal to x minus mean of uh, standard deviation second z value was 1.036 is equal to 95 minus mean of uh, standard deviation so we'll quickly rearrange so multiply by the standard deviation on both sides we get 1.036 times the standard deviation is equal to 95 minus mean and then you move uh, minus mean on the other side which becomes plus mean and this is our second equation so we've got two equations and two unknowns the two unknowns are mean and standard deviation and we have got two equations here uh, you would have guessed it we will solve it uh, simultaneously now so negative uh, 1.538 times the standard deviation plus mean is uh, 80 it's first equation likewise 1.036 times the standard deviation plus the mean is equal to 95 which is our second uh, equation you can solve this algebraically and find the values for mean and standard deviation but uh, we are not assessed on algebraic skills so we will quickly use the graphics calculator and find the uh, values so using the graphics calculator you will need to go to equation solver and select um, simultaneous i'll quickly show you this go to menu then uh, select uh, equations and uh, from the equations uh, we've got uh, three options and in this case we've got two equations and two unknowns so we'll be solving it simultaneously so f1 to get um, simultaneous uh, equations and in this case we've got two unknowns so we've got number of unknowns too so the calculator is programmed with a n x plus b n y is equal to c n and equals to a constant so our equation must be rearranged in uh, this form where x and y are the unknowns on the left hand side of the equal sign and constant goes on the uh, uh, right hand side of the equal sign and we have already rearranged our equations as such so now we'll just enter the coefficients so the coefficient of standard deviation uh, in equation one is negative 1.538 and then the uh, coefficient of mean is one it's one mean and then uh, is equal to 80 so 80 is the c value likewise for the second equation we have got the uh, coefficient of uh, standard deviation is 1.0 three six enter and the mean value is one it's one mean and then the uh, constant value is 95 and once i've entered these i will click execute to uh, get the uh, values now in this case it's x value is your uh, standard deviation value which is 5.83 and the y value is the mean value which is 88.96 once you've got this you must write the answer in context and you can see that on the uh, graphics calculator you're given the standard deviation which is 5.83 and the mean value is 88.96 and then once you've got this you will write the answer in context so then you write a sentence the average speed of uh, cars passing the point is 88.96 kilometers per hour with a standard deviation of 5.83 kilometers per hour now i'd suggest if you can uh, pause the video and uh, try this yourself uh, what you will need to uh, note is uh, the tail settings on your graphics calculator please be vigilant and also if either mean or uh, standard deviation or both are unknown then you will need to use a z score formula by finding the uh, z values rearrange the formula and then you can solve it simultaneously to find the unknown so please do not forget to change the uh, tail settings on your graphics calculator it's really important otherwise you'll get the wrong z value hence a wrong final solution thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video